For some, it's a luxury. For others, it's an escape to the lake. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Reed. And I'm Lisa Russell. And for Angie, Memorial Day unofficially kicks off the beginning of Missouri's boat season. Will the economy keep the boating business high and dry this summer? With an 8 on your money report, KMUH's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live in the studio. Jordan, what happened at the lake this weekend? Well, let me tell you, it was busy this weekend. Even though the threat of rain didn't stop many vacationers from spending a three to four day weekend at the lake, as it turns out, neither did the economy. The boating business remains afloat despite being the wake of an economic downturn. Boat dealer Ryan Warner did not make the sale. Not now, at least. We've always had increased sales every year. So uh, this year we're up from last year. So we're not feeling it. While he's not feeling the pinch from the economy, he says families that boat together stay together. Being able to go out and spend the weekend and not thinking about anything that happened throughout the work week, spending with your family all within basically five feet of each other in this boat, that's what people are wanting to do. So the boating hasn't been affected here so awful bad. I think people kind of sticking around in Missouri rather than to take longer trips. And it's helping us out here a little bit. The lake was packed all weekend. The roads were busy. The waterways were busy, uh, so we had a great turnout. The store, we had traffic flow through the store all weekend long, so great indicator that we're going to have a good summer. Not even a thunderstorm or an economic recession can rain on Werner's Day. West Marine store manager Annette Renfro told me lower gas prices compared to last summer also factor into steady business. A national study shows more than 90% of boat owners say the economy won't stop them from boating this summer. Jim, back to you. 